Hi everyone, today is the 5th of June 2022. Um, I just wanted to leave this video for not only myself but my daughter Holly, who I love with all my heart. Um, I've just finished my last wedding after 18 years. It sounds a bit strange saying that even now, but um, I've decided to retire from the industry. Um, I was going to do it a couple of years ago, but then COVID hit, and unfortunately, with that, everything turned upside down and um, weddings got put back, which was fine. You know, I, I, I had it set in my mind when I was going to retire, um, but I don't like letting anybody down. I could never dream of letting anybody down and especially weddings. So um, I put everything back and uh, just honoured the weddings that I had booked in. I've turned down so much work, so many weddings since 2020 um, but due to personal circumstances I can no longer be in the industry um, I, I just can't I can't do it there's there's only a couple of people in my life who actually know the real reason why I'm retiring from the industry um, it's not gonna go public at all why I'm retiring but um, yeah it's um it's been it's been a good career it's been 18 years full-time for me although i started in 2003 when i was working full-time in the um in the printing industry um i'm 45 years old now but um when i started in 2003 i was working full-time and doing weddings on a weekend i got the bug for it and um i thought let's try it let's see if i can do it and make a career out of it sat down worked everything out saved money for a good 12 months and then it just snowballed from 2004 which was absolutely amazing um i never thought for a second that anybody would ever pay me to do do a wedding when i think back to when i was 17 18 i was doing weddings for friends and family and friends of friends for free and i always remember the very first wedding that i did it was um, nerve wracking. I had a, I had a list of photos, a list of a piece of paper in my hands all day. I didn't sleep the night before. I had this piece of paper all day. I was going through photos. I was double checking everything, and it was it was scary. And that was when I was seventeen. And um, <laughs> I always remember people saying to me back then, why don't you do it as a career? Why don't you do it as a job? You know, you, you're amazing. You, you, you can take photos, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not, not good enough. Nobody will, take, nobody will ever pay me to take photos of, uh, of, of a wedding, a special day. You know, it'd be, uh, it'd be terrifying. Um, but yeah, here we are, 18 years on. Um, I've just done an amazing wedding to finish my career off. Beautiful couple, such a lovely couple, down to earth, um, looked after me all day. Um, it's just been fantastic. Um, obviously, apart from thanking me clients throughout the years, I've got two personal thank yous that I want to make. One is to my dad, Leon, my dad. Um, the reason I want to thank my dad is without him, I wouldn't be in this industry. I wouldn't I wouldn't be taking photos. I wouldn't have any interest in taking photos at all. Um I always remember I used to go fishing with him as a child and um I was getting a little bit a little bit bored of um of uh fishing and um somehow started taking photos I, I i can't remember exactly i was I 11 years old um i started taking photos of the fishermen fishing fish scenery um and uh me dad my mum bought me my first camera and um that were it you know so i have a big thank you to my dad for that um <laughs> It's it's a funny thing, 11 years old, I've been doing it all this time, taking photos for all this time, and I've photographed everything over the years, everything you can imagine, um, but weddings have been my sole passion. Um, I've enjoyed it with everything in my body, I really have. Um, 
The second thank you is to a very good friend of mine, Martin Banks. He's a wedding photographer. He's a, he's a very, very good wedding photographer. Without him, I wouldn't be in the industry. It's as cut and dry as that. I <laughs> have known him since I was about 18 years old and he's a lovely guy. I'm still friends with him now. He's got a lovely family, beautiful wife, beautiful children. And um, without him, I would definitely not be in wedding photography. What happened with him was he was a wedding photographer. He's been, well, he's been a wedding photographer now for about 25 years, I believe. And um, when I was working full time, even before, before I even thought about doing weddings, I got to know him. I used to meet him on uh, weddings and things like that, just, just in passing. And we became friends straight away. And um, I remember in 2003, when I were thinking about doing photography as a career, I got in touch with him. I didn't get in touch with anybody else. I got in touch with Martin and uh, I told him all about my plans and asked his advice. And uh, he saw what I could do. He, he saw the passion in me and uh, he was full of support, you know, absolutely brilliant. And he says, just go for it. You know, he says, um, what's the worst that can happen? You know, you, you want to do something in life, you've got to do it. And you're good at what you do. And yeah, just do it. Um, the one thing I do remember Martin saying to me is that it's a very cutthroat industry. There's a lot of people at it and uh, it's what's called a closed shop um, in the industry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, at the time, you know, you, you think, oh, yeah, it, it's fine. I'm sure um, it'll be fine. And um, it, it has been, it, it really has been good. Um, I've not had any times or situations or weddings where I've thought, get me out of this. I, I've had enough. I've, I want to go. Um, never. Um, I've, I've enjoyed it. I really have enjoyed it. Um, I don't know how many weddings I've done. I know it's over a thousand weddings since I was 17. Um, my God, because I did that many weddings before I even turned pro. Um, <laughs> Um, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to think now, 45 years old, 18 years on, plus the years prior to that. It's it's incredible. Um, I want to thank all the venues that I've been involved with. I've been involved with some fantastic venues. Gummertal Park Hotel, Stacey and all her team, Woodlands Hotel, Watson Park Hotel, Ripley Castle, Allerton Castle, you name it. I've been to every venue up and down the UK. And I've been fortunate enough to go abroad as well, which has been amazing. Um, yeah, it's it's been a really, really good life. It's It's been really fantastic. Um, I'm just not able to do it anymore. Personal circumstances uh, that are, I, I won't say it's forcing me out of the career, uh, forcing me out of the industry. They're not, it's not forcing me out of the industry, but... Um, I've had to look at things differently now and um, due to these personal circumstances I've had to retire from the industry. Um, so yeah, today has been my last wedding and I've really enjoyed it. Fantastic couple. Um, next year will be the test when I don't do a single wedding. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I don't know what it's going to be like because I've never experienced that ever um eh, apart from covid uh, yeah all right apart from covid not doing any weddings during covid that was very strange um but uh from next year yeah not a single wedding um everything's shut down the you know the businesses uh it, it'll be shut down completely um and uh yeah that's that's gonna be very strange um I'd like to say sorry to Holly, my daughter, and the time that I've taken away from being with her uh, due to weddings, due to editing. Um, that's my fault completely, you know. Um, but obviously going forward, uh, whilst I'm still here, that's completely changed now. That's that's going to be completely different. Um, I I dedicate all my time to Ollie. Um, that's 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 me. That's my life. Um, I've no regrets being in the industry. No regrets being a wedding photographer at all. 
Um, I've met some really, really good people. So I've met some fantastic friends from wedding photographers to clients. Um, I could name hundreds of them, absolutely hundreds of them who I keep in touch with all the time. And um, even they don't know that um, I'm retiring. Um, there's three people in my life at the moment who know that I'm retiring. And um, this video is going out on the 22nd of June 2022, as that will be the day that I'll have been a wedding photographer for 18 years. So um, this video will go out then and then uh, see what people say, see what people think. Um, I'd like to know your feedback. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Um, I've had some amazing comments and references and referrals, uh, feedback. It's been amazing over the 18 years. Um, I can't wish for anything more. It's given me a good life and the people that I've, I've spoken to, seen, met throughout the weddings has been amazing. Um, I always said I'd, I'd, I never did this for money. I, I never did. I never did do it for money. I did it for the passion of the job. Um, I've done every kind of wedding you can imagine. I've done the very intimate weddings where there's 10, 15 people at a wedding, including the bride and groom. Uh, right up to the four, five hundred people weddings, and um, I've loved every single one of them. Um, I've never shied away from a job, a location, a venue, um, the type of wedding, because the weddings, although you may think weddings are very similar, they're not. Every wedding is very different. I often get asked, every wedding I do, every single wedding, I always get asked, don't you get bored of doing the same thing week in, week out, day in, day out? No, because weddings are very different. Every bride and groom is very different. Every party is different. So I enjoy it. You know, the, the buzz I get from waking up on the morning of the wedding, starting with the bride, starting with the groom to be throughout the day, just enjoying every single minute of it. Um, I love it. I really do love it. And and today has been no exception. It's it, all right. It's been raining most of the day, but they've been amazing. And um, I think to finish my career at a fantastic venue up in Settle and um, an amazing couple, I just I couldn't have asked for more. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be emotional. I, I I won't deny that. Um, I have. I've had a little bit of a cry uh, now and again uh, when I've left certain venues. Um, it's 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 just hard. Some of them, you know, I've become really close to some venues. A lot of venues advertise me and have me albums and refer me and ring me up all the time. Can you do this? Can you do that? And um, we've got you more referrals and things like that and you know it, it's been hard and um, I'm in the process from today of, of ringing people up and telling people that you know I'm retiring on 22nd of June um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of tears uh, a lot of bottles of wine um, I want to thank the suppliers um, I want to thank the assistants who I've had over years um, I've not, I've not had many because they've been. I've been fortunate that they've stayed with me. Um, it's it's been great, and I've met a lot of people through it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to leave this video and um, just say that from the twenty second of June two thousand twenty two, Craig Garside Photography will be retired, retired, and no more. But I just want to say thank you to everybody, everybody I've met, every client, every supplier, every venue, everybody who I've come in contact with through the industry. I want to say a massive thank you. And um, I'll leave this to myself and my daughter Holly.